Boom. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, children of all ages. The big one. Facing number one North Carolina in the Sweet 16. We've had a Cinderella season. Won the Big West Conference. Had the 10th ranked RPI in the country. Went 28-4 and four so far. 14-2 and two in conference. And this is how we stack up. This is by far the toughest team we've played yet. They outstat us in pretty much every single category except maybe blocks, turnovers, steals, even in rebounds. But every other category they outdo us severely in some cases. So what I'm going to do is give Ransom Jimenez a pep talk. He's at 73%. Ferdinand could use one too. I'm going to give Ransom a pep talk. We have four pep talks left to give. Let's give him one. Let's give Ferdinand one. Let's do a couple drills to get ready. basket with web and this is the big one the number one ranked team in the country all year both coaches and media poll best team in the country we got unlucky in that we got placed in the same conference and are in the same bracket as them it for all the marbles. If we do this, truly legendary year. It's already been legendary. We've had a great season. It's time for the big one. We're going to keep up our identity that we've gained in the past few games. Run and gun. We're going to just do our best. Hope that it's good enough. Marquette, in comparison, was a good team. But no North Carolina. Clearly, time is money. 
Alright, Doyle's rebounding one up a bit. And here we go. Nothing left to do. Play the number one team in the nation. Number five, UC Davis at number one, North Carolina. Wow. They've got all the stats, all the team unity. We've got the grind, the grit, the hustle. Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The UC Davis Aggies square up against the North Carolina Tar Heels. Welcome sports fans to the NCAA Tournament's Sweet 16. We're here at the Charlotte Arena. This is Vern Lundquist with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What's your take on this, Bill? The story here is a matchup at off guard. Ricci is one of the premier shooting guards in the nation. He has lightning quick hands and terrific anticipation. He'll rack up a ton of steals. Webb is a tremendous shooting guard as well. He's such a good rebounder for an off guard. To get that from his position is so valuable to a team. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. Go. Dishes to the wing. Rises and dishes. The Aggies turn this one over out of bounds. Oh, that was not a good look. It wasn't about the defensive pressure either. He just fired it off target. Ricci inbounds the ball. Irvin guarding the big guy Pavlov. Ricci from about 19 feet. Grab by Doyle. Run it doesn't with matter it. how far you've got to go to get them, Vern. Every rebound is essential. Pass it down low. Dizzy. Down the first one. Well, we scored the first point in the game. And he'll come away one of two. Ricci catches it right wing. Ends it off. Passes right wing. Nice. Or Pandov, I think his name is here. Yeah, not Pavlov. Pandov. Has it right wing. The offensive board gathered by Pepper. Get it out of there. Big block. Fight. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak one to one. The big guy has spoken. Doyle bounces it to the right side. Jimenez puts it up. Pepper grabs the rock. They're still up by one. Right wing. Dishes it to the free throw line. Alvarez tosses it up. Knocks it down to free throw. They take a two-point lead. He's doubled up. Feeds it to the wing. Takes it up. Elmer Irvin. Oh, a charge. He took a looking on that one, but he took his medicine and got the charge. He loved that. He put his body on the line for the team. Onions. Handoff inbounds the ball. Pass outright. Handoff. They're going to double team him. Gets it. Top of the key.
Hepworth hands it off. Shot clock window. Nice. Go ahead. Webb swings it to the left wing. Backs him down. Dumps it to the middle. Doyle, the shot down low. Ricci gets the board inside. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Well, just before the game, I talked to the Tar Heels coach. He said, we've seen what can happen when a lower seed gets an upset or two under their belt in their first couple of rounds. They become a very dangerous team no matter who they're up against. We need to forget about their seed and just look at who they've beaten. Guys? Thanks, Tracy. Headway passes it to the right. Ricci. Got it. Five to one. Marie passes it up court. Webb backs down. Marie catches it right wing. Mm. Ritchie with a great D. About 16 and a half minutes left in the half. Quick defensive reaction changed the trajectory. That's what great defenses do. Contest every shot. Passes down low. Backs in. Run. To end the drought. Nice. He'll get two shots. Second team foul. Left in the half. Handoff catches it right wing. Snatched by Marine. But they're still out in front by two. Marie skips it to the right. Left block dishes it to the wing. Matches the offensive rebound. Kane throws it up. Urban pulls it in. He's got to make that shot for no excuses. Webb has it high post. Dishes to the paint. Spike down. And then it follows his miss. The shot was short, but he got the shooter's ball. He's got two. <clears throat> Under 15 minutes left in the half. They're bringing the double team. Headway gets it right corner. Kane lobs it to the baseline. Out left. Feeds it to the wing. Takes a three. It was hit by Ricci. They're up by three. Dumps it off. Swings it to the wing. Marie backs down. Irvin catches it on the strike. Pepper gets called for blocking, and that's his first foul of the game. Shooting foul? Shaking things up, and this could spell trouble for the other team. This group has a lot of team chemistry. Feeds outright. Irvin from deep. Jack gets the rebound. Right around 14 minutes left in the half. What a good shot. Gotta go with what got us here. Can think about that shot. Kane. Gets it, baseline. Takes it up. Got it. Uh, this time it's nailed yeah. by Jack. They're now up by far. Webb 
dishes to the left wing. Backs him down. Far side. Webb shoots it. Gets the mm. three pointer to go. But they're still behind by two. They're going to apply some pressure here and with full court. Get him in. Kane. Hope's free. Give me that. It's scooped up by Webb. It's one on one. I like how he gets himself into defensive position at the right place, right time, yet again. Eight minutes in. Come on, Webb. Checks in for the first time. Left in the half. Kane tosses it up court. Goes up. Hold down inside by McElroy. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Vern. Skips it to the top of the key. Webb has it left wing. Doesn't go uh. ahead basket to fall. Heavy pressure kept him from getting a good look. Tough miss. Bounce pass, left side. Ricci lets it go. Oh, man. There's by three. Webb uses the crossover. I wouldn't bet on him missing that one again. The break is on. Leads him with the pass. Last pass is nailed by King. He just gave a mediocre guy two points. He dropped it like it was hot. Webb backs in. Doyle releases. Misses the long one. Under 12 minutes left in the half. Uh. The in by they got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. The student section is into this game now. They are going bonkers, Vern. If you look at first bunch to hear those kids when they really get going. That is college hoops. Here comes the double team. Bounce way up court. Has it on the elbow. Jack passes for a side. Fires. The triple was off the mark by Ricci. They're still up by five. Doyle with the shot. Can't get the winner to fall. He'll make that one most of the time. But the D got a break on that one. Right wing. Beats it to the low block. Shoots from the post. Misses by Jack. But they're still up by five. Webb. Hits it. Yeah. They draw to within three. Jack inbounds the ball. About ten and a half minutes left in the half. Faust catches it on the elbow. Hands it off. Ricci takes it up. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity, but he'll go to the line for two. <sighs> Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Both teams are making substitutions. Sorry if I'm quiet. It's just... Really trying to focus on the game. Gets the substitution. Cable is coming on. Oh, time out. Get a point of emphasis going. First time out of the game. Get better shot selection, guys. Well, let's get back to the action. Doyle inbounds the ball. They're set up in minimum. Well. Takes the shot. He gets hammered. Personal foul. Fifteen foul. He 
takes the first. He's off on the second. From the paint, the right Right around 10 minutes left in the half. Pulling down the rebound. Off the deck. It's the gets it of the Faust dishes to the right wing. The cable goes up. He gets it's hammered. Foul. He'll head to the strike. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting two. This is the first shot. Led better to make his first stand off the bench. Let the track meet begin. He sinks the second. Webb inbounds the ball. Led better bosses it up court. Inside. Kicks it out to the wing. Marie crosses it over. About nine and a half minutes left in the half. Oh, I got Bounces the big guy. Handoff gets it on the free throw line. Passes left corner. Ricci gets it to go. Ricci. Then up 21 to 14. Picks it up. Couldn't get the shot. Well, but he was fouled and gets it to the line. Penalty situation. Ernest, he barely misses lead better. Makes his first appearance. Gets the second to fall as well. Petra inbounds the ball. Steven brings it up the floor. Cable. If you're gonna run this play, I'm gonna take it. Cable passes to the strike. What a pass! Handoff goes up, slides in with a soft finger. He's got two. Out of bounds. Touch last by North Carolina. Inbounds the ball. Just over eight minutes left in the half. I have to force turnovers. Any which way we can get them. Dishes it to the free throw line. Cable. Here's the spin move. Go. It's one on one. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. And they're now behind by five. They're bringing the double team. Dumps it off. Swing pass. Right wing. Cable. Catches it. Down low. Headway beats it to the perimeter. Thanked in by Ricci. Ricci. They go on by seven. He's double teamed. Webb passes it up court. Takes it up. Can't convert, but he'll go to the line for two.
substitution. Both teams are going to make some substitution. And he splits the free throws. Just over seven minutes left in the half. Out left. Handoff raises up. Gets the push up. And, uh, and they now lead by eight. Goes up. He got mm. fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. He's going for the steal. Got to make our foul shots, guys. Gets the second to fall as well. Jack inbounds the ball. Deflects the ball. And it's picked up by UC Davis. The minute picks it up. I'd love to see that. He's working around it. Nice. Such a deep run. About six and a half minutes left in the half. Steven. Skips it cross court. Handoff gets it on the low ball. Finished nicely down low on the right side. You have to keep your head up and eyes open at all times playing with this guy. That's right, and you never know when or where he'll find it. This job will pay five minutes. Lead pass down low. Opalabi. The nine footer. Too long, and it was missed by Panda. <laughs> Still a six point lead. Has it cross court. Webb tosses it up. Mm. He's shooting 100% from deep. Opalabi at the controls. Here's the double team. Steven. Kane gets it right wing. Goes up. Great finishing track. They push their lead to five. Williams dumps it off. Backs down. Shoots the turnaround. Pulled in by Jack. And that's his fourth rebound thus far. A little sloppy on the release. You're right. Just a little, but it cost him there. Cable substitution set for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Williamson inbounds the ball. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Jimenez has it in the paint. Williamson puts it up. He just exploded off the floor to time that ball. Wonderful anticipation by the defender. Opalabi passes to the wing. Stolen away. Listen to the crowd, Bird. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Redbird gets a piece of it. Just over four minutes left in the half. The rejection. He had his number that time. Perfect timing. Great footwork to get to that one. Leads him with the pass. Oh, but they're still down by far. The turnover. The last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. You have to find a way to reel that one in. There's no way that would drive a coach Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. UC Davis has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Davis is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. 
Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. <clears throat> High post. Kane dumps it inside. Steven catches it outright. Hands it off. Dishes left side. Shoots with the clock winding down. Corral by O'Connor. Goya inbounds the ball. Here comes the double team. Tip, but it's recovered by UC Davis. Webb backs in. Marie. Has it left wing. Williamson skips it to the baseline. Baseline. Marie, nice little cross. Nice. so quickly that the easy deuce turned into a very tough shot. Doyle for the tie. Jimenez pulls it down. Picks it up. No good by Webb. They're still down nine. The crossover Two. minutes remaining. Two minutes. Oh, that was clean. That was a clean block, man. Shooting. I can't believe it's this close. Knocks down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Goya inbounds the ball. It's deflected, and it's gathered up by Steven. That's not usually the spot on the floor where you see the double team, but it worked there. Jack gets They're it. the ones forcing turnovers. Hendo goes up, lays it right in. They lead 39 to 32. They're going to double team it. You see Davis all his time. him down. Right in the bottom of the ball. They narrow it to five. 116 left in the first half. They're going to double team it. Catches it. Left side. Jack goes to the crossover. Hooked away. The Tar Heels will retain possession. <sighs> Handoff inbounds the ball. Opalabi passes it to the right side. Jack misses the jumper. But they still lead by five. Webb backs in. Puts it up. Good. Oh, Webb playing big. He's got 18. The He's got 18. Six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The reverse. Good job on the layup by King. They're out in front by far. Pass it. Marie passes it up court. 
Williamson to the bucket. Slides in with a soft visitor. They're now behind by three. High post. Dishes to the top of the key. Takes it up. Shake things up a little bit with some subs. He's off on the second. With the crossover. Well, from 17 feet out, his second misses, but he'll get two shots in the line. One for the penalty. Two shots. He makes the first two shots. Kane is back in the game after a short rest. Well, this is no Yale or Pepperdine. That's for sure. But so far, we've kind of matched them. Gotta hit our foul shots so we'd be winning. Who's your pick, Bill? Ricci. It's my pick, Vern. He's finding ways to score every trip down the floor, and he's carrying his team. He's been a force on the offensive end and is putting on a show for everyone here. A phenomenal performance. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Alright, what do our coach notes say? Talented bench, we can go deeper. We're doing bad on the offensive glass. Keep up the good work, we're doing great. Let's see, I use lead better, Williamson. That was it. She has 15. Can't believe Webb has 19. Alright, I'm going to be right back for halftime. Boom. Back. Let's get it on. Set to begin the second half. Down three, that's about the best you could ask for. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on at halftime. Tracy? At halftime, I caught up with Coach Davis. He told me his team is down, but he's going to push the issue even more in the second half to make a comeback. Nice block. He said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of... Beautiful play, Elmer Irvin. Thank you. Going right around, Pandog. Beautiful. Headway inbounds the ball. <sighs> Faust double clutches. Beautiful. Beautiful. When you get blocks from a guy like him, 
It motivates the whole team. Backs him down. Knocked loose. Uh, I threw it to the wrong person. But that's what happens when the D puts such heavy pressure on you. Inbounds the ball. Oh, Irving. <clears throat> Gotta respect his mid range jumper. you imagine if we win this game? Oh my gosh. What a Cinderella season we've had so far. He gets them both. North Carolina needs to cut down on the turnovers. And Tracy is near their bench. Tracy? The Tar Heels coach stood in front of the bench a moment ago and said if we can't hold on to the ball any better than this, there is no way we can win this game. Guys, he's trying to get his message across loud and clear. All right, Tracy. Hope three. Give me that. Well, he tried to sell the shot, but the team is alert and didn't mind. Good steal following the pump fake. Here's the double team. Feeds left wing. Webb to give them the <sighs> has it and that's his fourth rebound thus far the D caught a break there that's his shot and he was wide open hand on has it right side Faust passes to the wing bounces it to the free throw line oh he got me good D Jimenez this is the three pointer and it's still all knotted up Snatched off the boards by Pandar. It doesn't matter how far you've got to go to get them, Vern. Every rebound is essential. Misfire on that last three by Stevens. Last shot was by Webber. How can you forget about this guy when you're boxing out? He lives for those offensive rebounds. Webb gets it right wing. Bounce pass right wing. He hits the jumper. He's one for three for the game. Cuts off. Give me that. I'd love to see that. Give me that. Such a deep burn. Our defense is starting to cause turnovers. We're getting to the line. I didn't jump, the defense jumped. Ricci beats it to the elbow from 17 feet out. Offensive rebound grabbed by Ricci. Shooting two. He makes the first. Ricci's the one that's been killing me. He 
gets them both. He's double teamed. Marie passes way down. Mo. Swings it to the right way. Jimenez unloads. He gets up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. The Aggies still hold a narrow lead. Irvin dumps it off. Webb backs him down. Up the backboard again. 41 points, and he leads all in scoring. Give me that. Last touch by North Carolina. Irvin inbounds the ball. Webb has it top of the key. Crosses it over. Wow, these fans are going nuts for him. Could this building get any louder? Pass down low. Hand off. Uh. it. And he'll have a chance for the three point ball. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. He can't just give up easy three point plays. Can we just end the game now? Tacks on the free throw for the three point play. Marie tosses it up court. Jimenez backs down. Throws it up. Nails there you it. go, Ransom. He's shooting 50% of the game. Catches it right wing. Ricci dishes to the stroke. The steal by Jimenez. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Top of the key. Webb backs in. It's a little short, but he gets the friendly goal. And they're now up by far. Long to the paint. Goes up. The inside shot, no good by Pepper. Good work staying with him. He's not easy to stop when he gets close to the hoop like that. Marie catches it on the elbow. Webb shoots. Connects from 10 feet out. Wow. And they need a timeout. Webb is killing right now. We'll make some substitutions. Ricci inbounds the ball. It looks like they're playing man-to-man. -man. Opalabi dishes it to the left wing. Knocks Give it me that. And it's scooped up by Gore. Just as quickly as he made the pump fake, the ball was gone. That's a little pilfering, Kern. Baseline. Jimenez backs in. He skips it to the right side. From the wing. Get down inside by Jimenez. Here comes the double team. Ricci. Bounces it to the baseline. Pass out left. Backs him down. Cable shoots it. No good from beyond the arc. Good boxing out. They're still down six. Gets it right wing. On the play. Little crossover. 
Usually if he gets any sort of room, he nails it. If I'm the defense, I don't let him get another chance from there. Errant last shot by Ricci. Webb fires. Scores after the quick pressure. They push the lead to nine. North Carolina seems powerless to stop this run. And Tracy's got something for us. The Tar Heels coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this run around. Thanks, Tracy. Jack inbounds the ball. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but if we win this game, could this be a national championship year? For UC Davis? There's no way. This is insane. There's no way. Get it out! Has it in the corner. Launches one from beyond the arc. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Rand dumps it to the paint. That shot missed by Pamba. Leaves it up and in. And, uh, and he's his team's leading scorer. About ten and a half minutes left in the second half. Right side. Marie. It's blocked. Ram ends it off. Bounces it to the wing. Hendo backs down. Jack releases from 16 feet. Takes it up. Hangs in hits. But they still trail by five. Goes up. The finger roll is picked up and in by Irvin. They're ahead, 62 to 55. Petwell goes up. Nice speed by Rand. Petwell. They narrow it to five. From 18 feet away, it's almost a two-point. You'll go to the line for two. <laughs> he makes the first two shoot. The target years will get a few of their starters back in the game. No, I won't. No, I uh, won't. No, I uh, won't. Hand off, dumps it off. Dish, right wing. Alvarez. Elmer Irvin has been huge. Passes it to the strike. Right wing. Doyle's defense on Ricci. Dishes to the free throw line. Alvarez. Swings it to the right wing. Terrific pass. Mm. And uh, they're bringing the double team. Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Let's it go. Got the whistle. I'm taking it every time. I'm attacking every single time. We'll force them to stop me if they're going to press me. I will force them to stop me. Good on number two. Hendo inbounds the ball. Here's the double team. Alvarez gets it left wing. Feeds left side. Hendo raises up. Gets the second chance basket play. He's got six. UC Davis is having a lot of trouble preventing second chance points. And Tracy has a report. Coach Davis said to his players on the bench, if you're not willing to fight for those boards, I'll find somebody who is. 
because he looks like he's at his wit's end when it comes to their rebounding problem. All right, Tracy. Jimenez puts it up. Corrales the miss. Dicey pass. Stolen by UC Davis. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep. Capitalize. Well, grabs the rock. Alvarez takes it up. He rips down the rebound. Jimenez catches it on the inside. Herbert can't get it. They've still got a four-point lead. Faust lobs it to the right block. Petro, a huge nice. blunder on that three-second violation. The Tar Heels are going court. to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Doyle inbounds the ball. Marie takes it up. He hammered out. That's his second. He second. will go to without a penalty situation. Shooting two. Teams can't keep us off the foul line. I attack when I have a lane. Increase their tempo. Pizza cross court. Ricci. Passes to the left wing. Ricci has it outside. Bounce pass to the free throw line. From 20 feet out. Pushed long by Alvarez. Still a double digit game. Well, reaching inbounds the ball. It's picked off by Give me that. and that will be his third steal so far. Oh, the ah. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. High post. Beats it to the left. Faust. Skips it to the left side. He's doubled up. Under six minutes left in the second half. Knocked loose. But it's retrieved by Irvin. Backs him down. Webb gets it left wing. Passes out left. Tipped away. These people are up. You think it's getting louder here or what? Hey, Doyle inbounds the ball. Urban goes up. Yes, he looked like a volleyball player spiking that thing. Ricci has it inside. Jack drops it. Sure. Now down by two. Here comes the double team. Marie hands it off. Urban passes it to the baseline. Webb takes it up. He grabs the rebound. Leads him with the pass. Alvarez to tie. Maybe next time. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over anxious. Two on one. Inside. 
I don't know how to stop that two on one. Alvarez bounces it to the high post. Dish outright. Alvarez fades. He rips down the rebound. Right around four minutes left in the second half. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. McElroy backs him down. Urban dishes to the baseline. Right side. Can't put an end to the scoring ground. But they're still up by two. Passes to the high post. Alvarez throws it up. Misses the tying basket. They're still down seven. Marie brings it up court. Swings it to the wing. Doyle from about 19 feet. No luck. Still a two-point lead. Leads him in. Ricci finishes with the song. And it's now all knotted up. 237 left in the game. Irvin backs in. Swing pass. Right wing. Doyle. Marie dishes to the wing. Webb shoots with the clock winding down. Great job on the D getting a hand up in Two his face. Remaining. Outright. Ricci for the lead. This crowd doesn't be any happier. <sighs> Listen to people in this building. Fresh legs here. Doyle inbounds ball. The Aggies will try to put a stop to this run. Passes it to the stripe. Backs down. Marie. It's a <laughs> He's got 13. Wow. 126 left in the game. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Huge three by Felton Murray. Beats it to the right wing. Petway catches it. Middle. Inside. Petway with a clean offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. <clears throat> yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hit. Knocks it down. Tough miss. Well, at least he was able to tie it up. 111 left in the game. Pass right wing. The crossover. That last ball footer was off and off. Simple conversion, and somehow it doesn't fall. Those are the kind of shots that will haunt you for a while. That last layup was missed by Pandar. This is a crucial possession. He couldn't get it that time, and the D did a great job of making it tough on him. 
Alvarez. Gets it out left. Handoff. He grabs the rebound. Webb takes the shot. <sighs> this is the buzzer beater. Regulation has ended, and we're heading to overtime. Oh my gosh, overtime. You see Davis, that's the tip. Marie swings it to the wing. Down low, dumps it. Oh, Jimenez is wide open. Play leads to a quick bucket. Aggressive D like that can shift momentum on you. About four and a half minutes left in overtime. Last basket. Are you slowly inbounds the ball? He was so smooth taking it in. When a guy goes that hard to the hole, somebody's got to step in and stop it. Alvarez has had some difficulties. Wow. Hendo. He fouls him. Couple of terrible plays in overtime. Should have wanted in regulation. He gets it. Just a little bit harder. Handoff catches it. Middle. Gorgeous pass. I love the strap. He fell through the foul. No problem. First, we gotta give him the three point chance. Foul shot is good for a three point play. Inbounds the ball. Dishes to the top of the key. Webb uses the crossover. That's taking care of business in the paint. He swallowed that one whole. Last half to the Fantastic all around game. Yeah, these guys are putting on a full clinic, and the result is an increasing lead. Last play off the mark by Williamson. Faust. Feeds it to the right. Ricci. He's in the zone. Hitler gets good position and corrals the miss. That's the great thing about having such a big lead. If you miss a shot here or there, you just shake it off and move on. That last week, it was missed by Webb. Can't put an end to the run. They're still down eight. 245 left in overtime. Faust dumps it off. Ricci gets it left wing. Oh, we had a chance. Bounce pass left side. Release we had a chance. And the Cinderella season comes to an end. Well, way up for the Aggies. Turn this one over out of bounds. He scored 13 points in sure who that was going less than three minutes. He hit the panic button and sent the ball sailing. Petway inbounds the ball. Mm. with the ball. Just couldn't get it done. Oh, what a season. It's been fun. 
The passion for their team is just awesome. It's been real. Has it on left? Petway bounces it to the top of the key. It's been real fun. Left wing. Handoff backs in. We're going to end 28 and 5 in Alvarez the Sweet 16. In a game that we definitely could have won. Doyle was completely silent in this game. We stayed close somehow. We had a lead. We had the last shot of the game. Should have attacked the basket more. I was running out of time. Or I should have just pulled up from NBA range where he wasn't guarding me. Well, this game is a, was a lot closer than what the final score is going to indicate. Web was magnificent. Carried the team. Goes to the crossover. Elmer Urban. Felton Murray. Ransom Jimenez. Inbounds the ball. The Tardians look like they have this one wrapped up. They scored 16 points in the overtime. Our guys were just too tired and just worn out. Ricci from 17 feet out. Bricks it off the We definitely had a chance. Takes it up. Almost got the ball. That's it. The road line is shot too. But what a successful season. We win the Big West. We make it to the Sweet 16 against all odds, even though we were the higher seed. And we lose to the number one team in the country. I mean, we pulled the short straw when we got North Carolina in our bracket. Gave him a hell of a fight. Alvarez passes to the baseline. Why are you still playing? This game is over. Inbounds the ball. Hook loose. And it's scooped up by Panda. That's all for this one. They beat me by 20? Knock off UC 12. 90 to 78. Now we'll bring you our player of the game. We had Panda at 28 and 10. He was tough down there, so was Petway. We had trouble rebounding, which we're gonna fix with Judd Gross and hopefully Vadim Hornsby. We have a lot of off-season work to do. A lot of decisions to make. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumble, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Who we're going to chase in free agency, if we're not free agency, recruiting. Yeah, that alley-oop. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this In overtime, did it for me. Thanks, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wilson and Bill Rafferty. Saying thanks well, for still a very NCAA successful season. Tournament. Proud of my guys. They did a hell of a job playing way above their talent level. We did everything we could. Got out rebounded 50 to 36, 14 to 7 on the offensive board. Second chance points 14 to 4. That's pretty much the game right there. And they had 16 fast break points to our six. Mostly in overtime though. So what else could we do? Reisel. Oh, Ricci. With 33. Doyle really didn't show up. <laughs> it's alright though, man. It's a big stage.
Irvin at 11, Jimenez at 12. We didn't go very deep off the bench. Achievement unlocked, over 500. That doesn't stop us developing our guys, so let's get a team training going last week let's get shooting shooting damn stamina durability simulate through day we'll watch college sports tonight college hoops tonight Welcome everyone, I'm Greg Gumbel here with my partner Clark Kellogg. Just ahead on the special NCAA Tournament Edition of College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. We'll take a look at the matchups in this year's Final Four, as well as show you the action from the Sweet 16 and Elite 8 that had College Hoops fans across the nation buzzing. But we begin with the player who gave a virtuoso performance in the second week of the tournament. Matt Webb. Webb looks to be on a mission, Greg. He put wow. his team on his shoulders and carried them through some very tough opponents into the third week of play. You got that right, partner. This had to be one of the great Sweet 16 and Elite 8 performances that we've seen. <laughs> Not only was he clicking wow. on all cylinders offensively, he matched that performance at the defensive end. He threw off the opposing game plan in the first and second rounds. We'll see if he keeps it going into the final four. Hmm. Let's break down the matchups that'll be coming up on college cool. basketball's biggest stage, the Final Four. With all the talent on display this weekend, we should see quite a show. I'm Xavier. Forward to this game just like everybody else. This matchup has the possibility of becoming quite a little rivalry because these teams match up so well against each other, and it's always a heated atmosphere when they're on the court together. And the other Final Four contest should yep. be just as riveting. This will be a fantastic battle. Uh, we could have this taken Duke. Could be a prototypical style versus style matchup. Great scorers on one side of the court, great defenders on the other. This is going to be a real showdown. We could have taken Duke and Pittsburgh. North Carolina gets my vote, partner. They just seem to be playing at an extremely high level right now. Their ability to adapt to any style is what impresses me the most. If one thing isn't working for them, they can lean on something else without missing a beat. Clark, the past weekend provided some Save incredible beat problems, Oregon. So let's take a look at some of the most exciting contests from the Sweet wow. 16 and Elite 8. Our first game was the kind that makes March Madness special. Yes, we're talking about a big upset. And even the wisest of experts probably didn't have this result in their brackets. Xavier was victorious over Oregon. You said it, Greg. This outcome would have seemed pretty far-fetched before the game, but it's a reality now. Oregon entered as a favorite to get to the Final Four, but they fell flat on their face and what to me has to be one of the most disappointing finishes to a season ever. Rowan had the hot hand on the winning side. His 18 points led the team. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. And for him to have a game like that on college basketball's grandest stage, the NCAA tournament is simply phenomenal, Greg. What a performance. This next game was another superb Duke March Madness Memphis. battle. Duke outdid Memphis. The Duke Blue Devils were intensely focused coming into this game, and their preparation was outstanding. They looked like they were ready for anything, Greg. Kind of like you are when we come into the studio. North Carolina beat Pittsburgh. Duke really muscled up down low and was able to convert a lot of easy chances close to the basket. Whether it was the big men or the guards, they made the most of their opportunities. They established their inside presence from the start and were able to rely on getting their points down low throughout the game. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the Final Four. All right, so let's simulate through this day. Let's look at the um, tournament tree. North Carolina crush Pittsburgh, Carolina Duke, Xavier and Louisville. North 
Carolina and Louisville for the championship. Conference champion. NCAA champions, North Carolina. We lost to the top team in the, in the country who won the championship. And we almost had a chance to beat them. Harrison Pandoff, Player of the Year, Mid-Major Player of the Year, Alton Bolton. Coach of the Year, UNC. Defensive Player of the Year from Duquesne. Power Forward, Big Man of the Year, Pandoff. Freshman, Joe Harrington at UCLA. First Team All-American. Second Team. Freshman All-American Matt Webb made a Freshman All-American team. Sweet. Conference champions. Conference Coach of the Year. Lou Davis. Conference Player of the Year Matt Webb. Freshman of the Year, Matt Webb. First Team All-Conference, Matt Webb. Odmanson, Clement, Lagana, and Lett. Second Team. Some names we know about. Freshman All-Conference, Webb. Ernest Crisp. <laughs> Not many freshmen to choose from. Marty Goth left the team. attributes to increase five of them so let's go teaching charisma scouting offense coach Davis you've been, you've been in the current team long enough to get any offers climb the rungs of your career ladder by obtaining jobs at bigger and better schools if they're interested in you that is each team has a short list of candidates for their job opening of which you might be one Watch the job list change as coaches jump from school to school, leaving new openings in their wake. Well, he's going to stay at UC Davis, so... Would you like to skip the rest of the carousel and go directly to the recap? Yes. Alright. Oh, do we want to release the coach? No, we've got good coaches. You see Davis, no transfers. Transfer recap. Goff went to Alcorn State. Cambridge went to Mississippi Valley State. Do you want to export the draft cat class can be imported in every 2K? No. Season wrap up. High school all stars. And then offense season recruiting begins. So I want to thank you all for sticking with me with season one. This wraps it up. Um, it was a good one. It was fun. Season two is going to start. And I'm going to do my off-season recruiting. Get my team together. And I'll hopefully make another run next year. So at least we'll have a sold-out stadium to play in front of. And a lot of... New players to shuffle in, new looks to give. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time, start of season two. If you've watched this whole season, thank you. I appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, sorry it ended on a bad note, but we it was a successful season. Won some awards, so catch you in the next season. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. And uh, peace out, everybody. Thanks for watching.